Parashat Vayera and the 10 plagues. I'm sure you know that God hits Pharaoh and Egypt with 10 plagues. But actually, why do we need 10 plagues? Can't we just have one plague that'll finish the story sooner? You know this kiddish? So actually, you don't have to look far because the answer is right inside the verses. But first, I have to tell you about Datsach Adash Ba'achav. Datsach who? You know, the ones from Pesach. It's not only abbreviations of the 10 plagues. Datsach Adash Ba'achav are actually dividing the plagues into different groups. Each group with its own characteristics. <laughs> Character? Characteristics. Characteristics. And each group has its own purpose that Moshe will tell very clearly to Pharaoh at the beginning of each group. Let's begin. Group number one, Datsach, Dam Akinim, blood, frogs, and lice. The purpose? Bazot Tedaki Ani Hashem. This is how you'll know that I am God, not me. I'm, you know what I mean. And how do you do that? A competition between Aharon and the magicians of Egypt. And they're neck to neck. Aaron turns water into blood. The magicians of Egypt also turn water into blood. Aaron brings the frogs. The magicians of Egypt also bring the frogs. Aaron takes dust and turns it into lice. The magicians of Egypt, they can't. They can't do it. This is amazing. This is spectacular. What a victory by Aaron. At the end of this group, the magicians of Egypt admit this is a divine action. A finger of God. Mission number one, accomplished. Second group, Adash, Arov Dever Shechin. Wild animals, pestilence, and boils. And the purpose is, Leman Tedaki Ani Hashem Bekerev Haaretz. So you will know that I am God throughout the land. Because Pharaoh thinks even if they have a God, he's probably in heaven. He's not the kind of God that goes down and saves a nation of slaves. So Moshe in this group emphasizes to Pharaoh the discrimination. Yeah, it's the Bible. We're not PC. Pay attention, Pharaoh. You are suffering, but the people of Israel are sitting on the beach in Goshen having fun. Or as we say today, affirmative action. Third group, Ba'ach, Barad Arbe Choshech, Hail Locusts and Darkness. And the purpose is, Ba'avur Tedaki and Kamoni Bechol So you'll know that there is no one like me throughout the land. Because Pharaoh says, Okay, they have a God, but I also have a God. So let's let them fight and see who wins. In this group, the verses will emphasize again and again that these are plagues with tremendous force, unprecedented one-time events. God tells him, Bobole, don't think for a minute that your fake gods are any challenge for me, the God of the nation of Israel. And of course, the final blow, the mother of all plagues, the plague of the firstborns, which is also the starting point of the Exodus. Datsach Adash Ba'achav, a painful lesson in faith, that God teaches Pharaoh and Egypt. And the beauty of it is that here we are, 3,000 years later, the descendants of that nation of slaves still telling our story while our enslavers are in the dustbin of history. So guys, I know it's tough, I know it's hard, the slavery and all the work, but hang on in there. One more Parsha and we're leaving Egypt.